Why did you put those things on the road? Why? Because you know where I saw you, it was on the road. After the road, you had a walkway uh, where people who are not driving motor when they pass. Yes, sir. And after that one, you have to set back. Yes, sir. Because it's by where you have these comrade buses. Yes, sir. So why did you not put the tea for the side of the road? Why did you put it right inside the road? Side, this side, that's this slab, I close the slab, walk away, mm. and drop it for the When I start smoke, I put me a head time on the motor price too much. The money is with me is too small. I left the motor me in the motor room. Mm. That's why I waste the one that will cheap for me. Yeah, my call, call. And, you know, I don't even understand as to say they my bad self. <laughs> <laughs> for me to say that best, cheap, I won't pack my loads before I look your face. I'm <laughs> <laughs> <And> so bad. <about, laughs> <laughs> 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 so where your shop be? Where do you have your shop? I don't have short line. It's in the past. I said, it's in the past. You said what? Of course. Okay, that's what you are using. Yes, sir. Do you want to say why I was annoyed with you? Yes, sir. You don't know? Because of the walkway. I know that every gear is fine. I can't put it on the, uh, inside the, the top of uh, the slab. I can't put it there. I know that, in that people use money to do that. Walk with. I put it on the, the down this slab. But that one is on the road. You go to the car. You don't want to carry on into you like that. Alright. Um, the caravan you are using, is it near where you are living? Yes, sir. You don't have a shop? No, sir. So where you put the caravan? By roadside? No, outside the house. Yeah? No, inside near the house. Near the house? Yes, sir. Not on the road? Yes, sir. Which part of Benin is that? No, near no. Ogida. Yeah? Ogida. Ogida. Yes, that was Ogida police station. Yes. Ogida police bank yes. station. Okay. Um, That's you, alright? Yes. For the way I spoke with you, you know, when I said, uh, you told me you are a widow, and I said, even if you are a widow, so that is not a right for you to block the road and do something that will lead to more accidents, and if there are accidents, other people could be killed. That was my anger. I, I, I'm sure you know we are trying to clean up the city. I'm sure you like the way we are expanding the road. So that vehicles can drive and people like you who are selling, when people are able to drive through the inside town, you know, you sell more. But when the roads are blocked, somebody wants to go out to buy something, he might feel that, oh, it's going to take me one hour, maybe not. But, uh, and then we have also had too many accidents on our road. Not to knock down people. That is why we build the walkway so that pedestrians have their space and those drug vehicles have their space. I know that mission we, we are currently reconstructing it. I'm sure you like the way it looks now. Yes. So um, for long I've talked to our women, not just women, even men who are Either have shops of selling wares, well, selling tomatoes, onions, all sorts of things. Sometimes they just put them on the road and they block the road. So the expansion that we have done, sometimes out of six lanes, you find that only two lanes are functional. You know, they just block one of the road, then the other vehicles park on the second lane, then you find only one lane, and that leads to a lot of water. And I'm doing my best to see that we. You know, we made Benin City a beautiful city that it was one before. And, uh, you know, when you spend a lot of money 
not my personal money, government money to try and beautify the city, to build roads and all that. To find the roads are not working. I get very angry. The second issue is, you know, when you put your wires right on the road, the way some of these buses drive, they can run into you like that, and they have killed some people in the process. That was why I said to you, if you are a widow, do you want more people to be widow? But when I said go and die, that one was, you know, uh, I was really sorry that I said that to you, uh, because um, I understand, looking at you that day, that yes, you are clearly not, uh, you are, you are struggling, but I, I, I was extremely angry. But I realized that even in anger, I could have achieved the same result without talking to you the way that I did. And in any case, maybe having made the point, you could have quietly returned your, your goods to you so that you go back home and, uh, you know, maintain, you know, get on with your life and look after your, your, your children. But although I, I apologize to you from the bottom of my heart, because even my own daughters, they have been harassing me on your behalf. And I should have done that to you. But you know that is life. Sometimes there are a lot of things that you try to do, and you see people doing things that compromise your effort, and, and you get angry. That particular day, I have, that was the third day. I'll be going around every evening, and I found the road blocked. I called the war against the discipline, talked to the women, don't do this again, and then they will run away. The following day, they come back. That was the third day, and that the third day, I thought, I've had enough. And it's just a pity that, uh, you know, that anger, that aggression was transferred to you. I'm very sorry about it, and I hope you forgive me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I want you to assist me. First, to join us to talk to women, uh, not only women, all traders. First, to keep our roads clean, not to put join our campaign eh, to talk to women, not only widows, all women, even men also, who they sell for road. May they no sell or put anything on the road. May they no put anything on the sidewalks. So that people walking, people driving can have the roads free. And if they walk park self, may they park properly. Not park in the way where we say who walk past will not go fit pass. You, you, you understand? Yes, For example, I'm sure you see sometimes, like the thing you are saying now, some of these things are food items, drinks, when people will drink. Now, where we may put tomatoes for walkway, they put tomato for road, they put it by the side of the road. As motor they pass, all the smoke where they come from motor. In the enter those tomatoes, in the enter those pepper. People go buy them, go do salad, eat. They will come get type for fever. Because all the things that they don't enter. So not only say that they block road, but also you know good for, for our head. Anything where person go eat is supposed to day clean. So maybe you will feel help us. We will employ you. Eh? We will pay you salary every month. You all will be saying, to help us the campaign to other women. Say this is no good. Whether we poor or, or we rich or make we not trade for roadside. Make we not carry things put for road. Me too, I all talk to the these taxi drivers and uh, bus drivers, particularly bus drivers. You know, they block road when they walk carry passenger. Now they cause plenty accident. Sometimes when you go hospital, you go see very poor people, how they take get accident. You know, so because we know they obey traffic law. So not be me supposed to even come there. We get traffic people, but they themselves sometimes they will there, they look, things are going wrong. And you know, as we come here, we have tried to change beneath the way take look. And now as you can see, beneath the fine. 
So when I see what we don't do finish, people the spoiler here, they make papers. So you will come join us now. We will employ you. Every month you will get salary. So that you can look after your children. Eh? This year, Peking, we say he don't he do exam, he don't get cut off. He will receive. If he pass, hmm? yes. me and my children, we will say we will support her. So that he will go to and uh, if he do well for school, as I pray he do well, then uh, he will feel happy when you don't become old. We have to work hard and read the book well, well. Next time, we will put we will put it for Rosal again, okay, so that we will get progress in government. Eh? So can I take it that next time we will do so again? We will do so again. Yes, sir. Okay. So I will help you. As I said, I'm sorry. No, that is bygone now. But let's move forward. Uh, let me see how we can help you uh, to become part of this campaign to keep Bini City clean, to keep the walkways clean, to ensure free flow of traffic, but also to ensure that the, the uh, people who go to the market to buy things, they don't buy tomatoes, pepper, onions, that are exposed to fumes and dust, which causes head problems. So maybe this is the way God wanted it. You know, they say every disappointment. And eh, they don't come. So let's uh, ask them to look for you, so that I can personally apologize to you, but also to support you, so that God help you. You overcome the grief of your of a, of a widow who lost her husband, and now as a single mother to see how I can help you so that you, you train your children properly, and you never know God can use any of them to become a leader of our country. But please receive the temptation next time to do anything that will break the law. Because the law is the law. Whether you are a rich man, you are a poor man, the law is the law. You must have heard on radio or watched me for television. Even big people, we are telling them not to do wrong things. You know, there was a time we are removing houses of people who build houses on the road. Because you see, if government does not enforce the law, there will be confusion. You know the way the business city was before. As it be now, you don't like that? So, um, that is the thing. So thank you for coming. I also want to give you something. This is not for your land or though. <laughs> so that in addition to working with uh, the war against the discipline to ensure that women behave properly and traders, I also will give you money so that you can hire a shop. When you have a shop, you trade inside the shop not roadside, not uh, put your wires on the truck. And I pray that God will bless uh, your decision on how you use the money so that your life can become much better mm -hmm. and you look after your immediate family. This money is not for you to share. It's not for you to go and distribute. It's just to help you as a small working capital. Hmm? Higher show. Buy this and sell. So, uh, this is two million naira. Okay? So, God bless you. God bless you. Do you want to pay for it with the cup now? <laughs> All right. All right. So from here, you pay my account. Mm -hmm. eh? Okay. You go straight to the bank and keep it. Uh, policeman will follow you, go back so that you bank it and think very well on how to use it. Don't make the decision today. You want to see properly, okay? Two million naira, God bless it.
God bless you. Amen. And may God use you as a point of contact to other people who might be tempted to do something that might uh, uh, compromise the health and safety of our people. Once again, my apologies to you. And now you are my sister. Thank you, sir. Okay? Thank you, sir.